Here with uh, head coach Rick Reeves and coach, uh, I know this is the time of year you guys love getting ready to roll the basketballs out for their per first practice. Just talk a little bit about how excited you and the, and the team is. Uh, I've been excited since the last practice of last year <laughs> for this day. Uh, and, and for me, this is uh, my 28th year and, and coaching at the collegiate level and it never gets old to me. I, I love practice, I love teaching the game. Uh, I love spending time with the young ladies. You know, you don't uh, get to spend much time with them in the preseason and the uh, postseason as you like. But uh, during the season, it's where it's really enjoyable. We've got a great group of young ladies, and uh, I just know we're going to have a great season. Eight newcomers again this year, and, and uh, the two seniors we have on the roster are, are injured and won't be participating. So you're looking to a number of juniors three juniors in particular to kind of lead. How do you uh, get them to kind of take that leadership role and incorporate the newcomers into the, the first couple of practices? Well, you know, last year we were the uh, example of Murphy's Law. Anything that could go wrong went wrong, and, and yet the, the players still had great character. They stayed together. They stayed focused. Uh, so, you know, I enjoyed that. But, you know, some of the major injuries we have, we lost Sierra Harris, and who's now joined our staff, but uh, she can no longer play for medical reasons. Nor can Kim McKinney, who would be a senior, and Kim's uh, helping out with us, and she's going to graduate in May. Sierra's graduating in December. So, you know, they're still part of our team. They always will be. Uh, but we've asked a lot of leadership out of Katrina Green, Jasmine Dale, and Tabby Kerner, you know, our three juniors. They're kind of uh, two-year seniors, mm -hmm. you might say. So uh, they've done a, a magnific magnificent job, and I've been really pleased with the team. Um, first practice, new staff uh, kind of going to be working together. I, I know it might be a little bit of a challenge because you, you're used to having, if not one, both your daughters on staff. Yeah. And uh, so uh, how do you think that they'll be able to help out, obviously with Dom coming back? Uh, and Blake both working with you in the past and, and Don playing for you. How are you going to incorporate them into helping the girls in the first couple of practices as well? Well, being a recruiting weekend, one of our uh, staff members, Dean Walsh, mm -hmm. isn't here, mm -hmm. and he's an experienced coach, and I've known Dean about a decade, and he's worked at my camps, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. well, we're good friends, and uh, you know, he'll, his philosophy, I think, will mesh well with, with my mm -hmm. philosophy, and Dom's played for me, and uh, she's been a coach on the floor for four years, so she, she knows the system probably as well or better than me. And, you know, Blake was a part of that and had uh, a lot to do with our championship team, and, and he's, uh, uh, you know, been around it for, I think, uh, three or four of his years while he was here at Gardner-Webb, so he's very experienced as well, and, and I'm excited. And, um, you know, Kim and Crystal, them, you know, I love them, but uh, they need to go on to be head coaches and uh, and – you know, they're stars rising up in this profession. Coach, we'll let you get to practice, and we appreciate your time. Thanks, Kevin.